In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Welcome to this Eucharist with prayer for healing to those who are in our chapel and also to those who are watching online. Together, we meet in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known, and through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are healed and brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our confidence and trust in his inexhaustible mercy. We know to quiet when we bring to God all that we need, forgiveness for healing and wholeness in our lives. God of mercy, Lord of Lord life, life, you are tender, tender towards your children, children and, and your mercy is over all your works. Embrace, embrace us with your love, in your memories of hurt and failure, bind up the wounds of past mistakes, and by your forgiveness make us whole. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Collect for the Fourth Sunday of Lent. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We sit for the readings. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, At the favorable time I will answer you. On the day of salvation I will help you. I have formed you and have appointed you as covenant of the people. I will restore the land and assign you the estates that lie waste. I will say to the prisoners, come out to those who are in darkness, show yourselves. On every roadway they will graze, and each bare height shall be their pasture. They will never hunger or thirst according scorching wind and sun shall never plague them. For he who pities them will lead them and guide them to springs of water. I will make a highway of all the mountains and the high roads shall be bumped up. Some are on their way from afar, others from the north and the west, others from the land of Sinai. Shout for joy, you heavens, exalt, you earth. You mountains, Break into happy cries, for the Lord consoles his people and takes pity on those who are afflicted. 
For Zion was saying, The Lord has abandoned me. The Lord has forgotten me. Does a woman forget her baby at the breast of fail to cherish the son of her womb? Yet, even if this forget, I will never forget you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Response to the psalm. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord, the Lord is, is kind, kind and, and full of compassion. compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. The Lord, the Lord is kind and full of compassion. compassion. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are wounded, who are bound down. The, the Lord, Lord is kind and, and full of compassion. compassion. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him who call on him from their hearts. The Lord, Lord is kind and full of compassion. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Glory, Glory. and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, My Father goes on working, and so do I. But that only made the Jews even more intent on killing him. Because not content with breaking the Sabbath, he spoke of God as his own father, and so made himself God's equal. To this accusation, Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, the son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees the father doing. Whatever the father does, the son does too. For the father loves the son and shows him everything he does himself, and he will show him even greater things than these. Works that will astonish you. Thus, as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to anyone he chooses. For the Father judges no one. He has entrusted all judgment to the Son, so that all may honour the Son, as they honour the Father. Whoever refuses honour to the Son refuses honour to the Father who sent him. I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life, without being brought to judgment, but has passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come, in fact it is here already, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father, who is the source of life, has made the Son the source of life. And because he is the Son of Man, has appointed him supreme judge. Do not be surprised at this, for the hour is coming when the dead will leave their graves at the sound of his voice. Those who did good will rise again to life, and those who did evil to condemnation. I can do nothing by myself. I can only judge as I am told to judge and my judging is just, because my aim is not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So, how is your Lent going? If indeed it is something that you mark. Maybe you began Lent with some form of commitment to take up something or to give up something. And if you did, are you managing to keep those commitments? Or have you failed to keep them? Or would you say, I'm not doing too badly, but could do better? For me, this Lent would be in the latter category. My Lent reading has gone well, but my commitment not to eat sugary things has been a bit random. And I thought, therefore, it might be useful to have a little mid-Lent review and examine us St Ignatius will put it. We've got two and a half weeks until Easter Day. Today's Gospel warns us of what is to come before Easter Day. As Jesus speaks of his unique relationship to the Father and the Jewish leaders become even more intent on killing him. Next Sunday is Passion Sunday, where the pace begins to build, leading to Palm Sunday, Holy Week and Easter. We will reflect on the great cost paid for our salvation. But now, symbolically, Jesus is in the desert, fasting, being tempted, preparing for that great passion. Are we there with him, or have we wandered off? Have we let the idols of busyness, and consumption squeeze out our desire to draw closer to the Lord? Or have the many distractions, anxieties and vanities got in the way of what this season could be about? When then began, we heard the words of the prophet Joel, yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing, Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. Our first reading from Isaiah. In that reading, God promises that at the favourable time, I will answer you. These words are directed to the Messiah, his work on earth. But we could also ask ourselves, what are we doing with our time and our opportunities as Lent progresses? When is the favourable time for us to return to the Lord our God? It is, of course, now. God never runs out of patience with us. But we may squander the time that we have to benefit from that patience. There is a famous quotation based on Voltaire. Do not let the perfect be the enemy of the good. If your leg, like mine, could have been a bit better up to this point, don't just give up. The desert is a tough place, but it is also a place of grace and revelation. Let us find a way back to return to the Lord to express, express our solidarity with Jesus in his lonely walk to the cross. Ask him to open your eyes to see the Father working and to join in that work. And if you want a couple of suggestions for this last bit of Lent, I've got a few here. Lent is a time when Christians are encouraged to help those less fortunate financially. Here at Maribyrn, we've been approached by friends in Tanzania, in Kagira Theological College. They are trying to train young people for ministry, both ordained and lay. But they are self-sufficient for food and their harvest has been damaged the rain has damaged their maize and their beans. And so rather than being able to pay the staff the salaries, 
they've had to buy food with the money that they have for their wages. I wonder if you could think about whether you could give to this appeal to our brothers and sisters in Christ in Tanzania. The details um, are on the description under this YouTube film and on our website. Another suggestion is to come to our Lent event this Saturday, the 25th, Green Saturday, 10 until 3.30, to consider creatively how we can care for the world that God has created and redeemed. You're very welcome just to turn up. Finally, some people choose Lent as a time when they make a sacramental confession and any of the clergy at St Marigan would be happy to help with this request. Whatever happens for the reminder of this Lent, I encourage you, as I encourage myself, however it's been so far, to use these next couple of weeks creatively and intentionally to return to the Lord with all our heart. If necessary, to reset our Lent. Amen. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord, we pray for your church worldwide, for the wider church, as in free churches, Catholic Church, the Cathedral Church of St John the Baptist in Kagera, St Mark's in Hamilton Terrace. We pray for them, their people, their clergy and their lay ministers. And we pray for them to be able to enter into this Lent with grace and with revelation and be instrumental in helping people return to the Lord, the Lord who loves us and is full of compassion for us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we pray for this parish, we pray for all those who are engaged in the work of bringing Christ's wholeness and healing to others. We pray for our clients and therapists in the psychotherapy centre, for patients and staff in the GP surgery, for all medical institutions in the parish and all hospitals where we have chaplaincy responsibility. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We continue to pray for Ukraine and her neighbours. We pray for all who are caught up in the conflict, men, women and children, visitors to the country. We continue to pray for the people of Turkey and Syria as they continue to deal with the aftermath of earthquakes. We pray for all aid agencies, for the United Nations Organization and NATO, all those who bring aid to those most in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are homeless, Pray for migrants and displaced peoples, refugees seeking welcome in this country. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear our prayer. Our prayer. We give you thanks, Lord, for those who come and pray in this church as we pray for our clergy here. And this person has written a prayer Praying for Grace, Ben and Joe to know Jesus and to be like arrows in the hands of a warrior for the glory of God. We pray for the person who wrote it and also for Grace, Ben and Joe. We also pray for the people who asked us to pray for them. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering, seeking healing and wholeness. 
So we pray for Don, we pray for Wyndham, Charmaine, Nicola, Marnet, Yvette and Anne, Caroline, Liz, John and Cicely, Mary and Carol, all those who are on our hearts today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our loved ones who have died, and also all those who have died recently. And we also pray for those whose anniversary of death occurs this week. We pray for John Chater, a former rector of St Maribyrn, for Christopher Harrison and Percy Vickers, and for John Petty. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let that light of virtual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, in a moment of silence, we pray to draw closer to you, our gracious God, who abounds in steadfast love for us, and we pray that we may spread that love to all um, that we meet and all that we know. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Would you stand for the peace? Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with, you. with you. Let's indicate to one another that we share Christ's peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you. The earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed is be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. The Lord be with you. And, and also so with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's it is right to give thanks and praise. praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living Word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us upon the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. 
Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made one for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. So we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Then we are one we are one body, body because we shall share it in one blood. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but I may say your word, and I shall be healed. Prayer of spiritual communion for those who are watching online. O loving God, in union with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries gathered to make you Christ, I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I'm exiled from eating the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptized and with your Son who gave his life for us, Jesus Christ our Lord.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, gave his back to the smiters and did not hide his face from shame, give us grace to endure the sufferings of this present time with sure confidence in the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we, we thank, thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. The laying on of hands with prayer for healing for yourself or for another person and you're welcome to mention their name when you come up. And we begin by praying for those who are watching online. Come, Holy Spirit. In the name of God and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind and spirit deliver you from every evil, and give you his peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
God of all compassion, by the dying of Christ, you restore us to yourself and enfold us in your love. May we who have been refreshed with the bread of life and the cup of salvation be renewed by your healing spirit and made ready for the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. God our Father, by whom we are called to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, and by paths as yet untrodden. Give us faith to go out always with good courage, knowing that in the power of your Holy Spirit we are made strong, and that your love will never fail us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, be with those you love, and those you find it hard to love, now and always. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God.